Right then, I'm all right. Nothing to see here. she's almost up to is that hole in the sidewalk. This is really gonna be a kick. Looks like it's gonna be more of a crash. I haven't played with blocks since I was a little kid. Haven't lost my touch. And from the way she's acting, I'd better not lose Tina. Hey, Tina, wait up! Oh, hi, Shortcake. Boy, look what I just got. That's a pretty silly-looking light bulb. <laughs> oh, you. This is a real crystal ball. Come on, I'm going home and try it out. Just think, with this, I can see into the future. Are you sure you got it turned on? You don't really believe in these things, do you? You've got to keep an open mind, Angel. You never know what's possible. She's telling me. Oh, I can hardly wait to see what this thing can do. Well, it'll make a good paperweight. Well, how about an aquarium? Hush, Andy. Hmm, I see. Um, no, yes! I can see something weird happening with the weather. Hell, yep, it's gonna hell like mad. Hell, that goofy globe is a phony. There's not a chance of hell. And I should know. I just came from... Uh, <laughs> huh? Must be a golf course around here. Yikes! Quick, under the table. I hear you. Well, Smarty, what do you call that? A frozen moth ball. A ping pong ball with a cold. Hell, baby, hell! I believe it, I just don't believe it. It's for real, and Madam Tina can't predict the future. <laughs> Boy, this crystal ball is fantastic. I really dig this stuff. Uh, it was just a coincidence. Coincidence, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Mm. I get a picture of somebody dressed in white, and they're flapping around, sailing through the air, like an angel. Andy, baby, it's you! <laughs> oh, ridiculous, angel! <laughs> oh, boy, Angie's not gonna like that prediction. And I predict that you aren't going to be overjoyed with it either, kiddo. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with my cat? Why don't you ask that cuckoo crystal? Oh, get him, Andy, please! No, no. Come back here, kitty, before you get into trouble! Oh, I'm glad 
Lad and Jellica can't see me now. I like your outfit, Lebo. Too bad they didn't have your size. Oh, boy. It's okay, Andy. My kitty came back. So did I, I noticed. <laughs> Gosh, Cupcake, you were really flying high there. Almost like, like an angel. It works, it works. That crystal ball is really something else. Aha, I see a big car. Like I told you, it's a fake. I don't see a thing. Not in the box, we see. In the driveway. It must be Lydia. Unless Angelica struck oil. Hi, gang. What's new? This. And you won't believe a toy crystal ball. How cute. But what a coincidence. I came to invite you to see the priceless, genuine, antique crystal ball that belonged to the famous Swami Hawini before Daddy loans it to the Oakville Metropolitan Museum today. Hey, wait. I don't go anywhere without my crystal ball from now on. I'll just take a quick peek. Uh-oh, Lydia. Maybe you better loan the limo to the museum. According to my crystal ball, it's gonna make trouble. My limousine? You've gotta be kidding. It wouldn't dare. Tina, you expect us to walk to Lydia's because of a dumb old crystal ball? Hi there, little chump. <laughs> On second thought, let's walk. There might be something to this prediction stuff. <laughs> Okay, Lebo, what's the big idea? Crystal balls predicting the future? It's nonsense. Oh, Angie, it's hornswoggle. Lebo, this hornswoggle excuse is wearing very thin. But, 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 Angie, look! Don't you see it? I see you trying to cop out, Lebo. Knock it off, or you'll be polishing halos for other working angels. Something to take care of. Okay, Lebo. Follow that car. I knew it. Not a bad boy kid who doesn't even drive. It figures Hornswoggle would use hot air. He's loaded with it. That'll cool him off. Doesn't that guy ever give up? This is sure no pushover. See? We arrived with no trouble. Well, you can't win them all. Andy! What? How did you get here? I, uh... Changed my mind and ran all the way. Come on, Lydia. Let's see the crystal ball. I just thought a little cloud would make you feel at home, do-gooder. Hey, mine looks just the same. I suppose there is some similarity, but one can tell fine crystal from cheap glass. Well, I can't tell the difference. Oh, no. It must be the man from the museum, and I'm a sight. I really must freshen up. Please give him the ball. Uh, carefully. Hmm. Maybe I can tell the future in stereo. Andy, be careful. Oh, Andy, something's gonna happen to this ball. Don't worry. What could happen? Good afternoon, miss. I believe you have something for me. What could happen? Horn swoggle can happen. It'll be okay, won't it? It couldn't be in better hands. <laughs> Don't you agree, Sonny? Tina, I believe your prediction. You do? Come on, let's stop horn swoggle. I mean that phony guard. You were right, Shortcake. He is a phony. The museum's the other way. <laughs> you go on the block and head him off. Okay, Tiger. Now I'll show that crystal ball mapper a thing or two. 
Looking for something, Goody Two Shoes? Yeah, this. Got it. You mean, had it. You can have it if you can catch it. Okay, toss it here. So long, Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, boy. I can see by Lydia's crystal ball that my future doesn't look too hot. Andy! Andy, where are you? Darn, I wish I never got my crummy old crystal ball in the first place. You're not the only one. I'm gonna send it right back to that Hornswoggle Novelty Company. Every time I use it, there's trouble. Besides, it's a lot better to make your future instead of trying to predict it. Well... Time to face the music. I'd almost rather face Angelica. Property of Swami Halloween. Gee! Right. So you see, Tina dear, you mistakenly gave that fat imposter your crystal ball. That goes for me, too. And I already called the museum. They're sending an armored car for daddies. Well, that wraps it up, except for Hornswoggle. Except for who, Lebo? Uh, uh, nobody, Angie. Good. No more nonsense about Hornswoggle or predicting the future. Right on, Angie. Wait! What's going on? Stop! You can't predict the future, but it doesn't hurt to give a little shove in the right direction. And speaking of directions, Lebo, never mind, I can't predict what you're going to say. Now on Cartoon Network, it's Shaolin Showdown. Join Ami and his fellow Shaolin trainees, Clay, Kamiko, and Raimundo, as they travel around the world searching for the mystical Shen Gong Wu. Uh-oh. Oh. It's Shaolin Showdown, Monday through Friday at 6 on Cartoon Network. Good. Good. You're in Mansfield. Mm-hmm. I have a cousin from Mansfield. That's nice. Your resume looks good, but we're looking for someone with more experience. Experience? <laughs> oh, funny. Share the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Aging skin, tired muscles, dry cracked feet? Bring the luxury of the spa to you with Spin Spa, the spinning brush that turns showering into a spa experience. The microdermabrasion head scrubs away dead skin cells, and the mesh sponge gives your skin that clean and healthy glow every day. The massage head soothes away aches and pains and improves circulation. The salon quality pumice stone smooths away calluses and rough skin for pedicure perfect feet. Spin Spa comes with every indulgence you'd find at a spa. Just add your favorite soap or body wash and let Spin Spa do the rest. Pamper yourself with spa luxury every day with Spin Spa for just $19.99. We'll also give you this silk spa robe, a $60 value free. You get the Spin Spa with all five spa attachments and the silk spa robe, a $120 value, all for just $19.99. To order your Spin Spa, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-829-8866. That's 1-800-829-8866. Call now. video games at GameTap. Get your free trial at GameTap.com.
LeBeau, aren't we a little late getting to Oakville? I'm not late, my ride is. LeBeau, what are you up to? Oh, about 30,000 feet, I guess. Oh, how did I get stuck with a jet set angel? I always say, if you gotta meet somebody at the airport, take a plane. Here I am, Tina. You were supposed to be here ten minutes ago, Andy. Sorry about that. Chalk it up to jet lag. The plane's already landing, and now we're late meeting my cousin, the world-famous Dr. Joe Livingston. We'll find him. What's he look like? I don't know. I've never met him before. He's won the Nobel Prize and everything. Come on, let's move. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? You are, LeBeau, going on jets instead of under your own power. Rule 276, guardian angels are forbidden to hitchhike on any civilian aircraft. And furthermore, LeBeau, I... Not now, Angie, I'm on my way to meet a Nobel Prize winner. Little boys should not stand in busy doorways talking to themselves. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself. No, oh, briskly, young man. I don't have all day. Some people are meeting me here, and I must find them. <laughs> Bet you aren't meeting a famous doctor like I am. Where have you been, Cupcake? Ugh. I went a few rounds with a revolving door. Oh, boy. Boy, and there's the bell for the next round. Uh, you're probably wondering why I don't show up on the x-ray, right? He'll never believe the truth. Hey, look, I'll tell him the truth. Well, you see, I'm an angel from way up in the clouds. And I come down here to help people because of my special powers. Of course, I have help from Angelica. Uh, she's... What happened with the x-ray, Andy? Oof. Uh, uh, uh. It must have run out of X's. Where are we supposed to meet your cousin? Gate 39. Hold it. Gate 4. We're at the wrong end of the airport. <laughs> well, let's just hop a taxi. Come on. Remember Rule 276, Lebo? No hitchhiking on airplanes? Well, Rule 277 forbids any kind of hitchhiking. Why did they bother with Rule 276 at all? Red tape. Hope well, there's no rule about taking shortcuts. Hey, I got the right of way. But in your case, I'll make an exception. No, no, huh? Can't be. I just need a break. Say about ten years. Oh, you again. You, little boy, are a pest. Hmm. Wonder if she and Angelica were ever roommates. Andy, there he is. That must be him. Here we are. It's really sensational to meet you. I'm your cousin Tina, and this is Andy. Oh, let me take your stuff. The mice, quick, get them. They're reporting to an experiment. I'm a guardian angel, not a guardian cat. Now I know why they call it cop. Time to get.
get serious. Yikes! Maybe it's time to get a dustpan. Hmm. With a little practice, I can learn to play a tune on these things. Shucks. Just when I was getting the hang of This is beginning to remind me of a nursery rhyme. Let's see. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. And down he runs. Just goes to prove you can't believe everything you read. Or that mice can't tell time. Man, I hope you get a good catching too when you get home. Trust me, ma'am. I can almost guarantee it. Come here, you racing rodent. Dr. Livingston needs you. This mouse is working his way up to be a rat. Wow! Glad Dr. Livingston already landed. This place is fog and solid. I can't see a darn thing. Except him. Gotta tell Andy I caught my mouth. Oh, swell. Now I'm locked out. Well, I'll just find another way in. Gotta tell Tina I caught my mouse. Better watch it. That last step is a humdinger. This is weird. I'm not getting any place, and my legs are tired. Your legs were almost shorter, kid. Tina, come on. Andy, boy, am I glad to see you. I got mine. How about you? It's a match set. You take them. I'll go tell Dr. Livingston. You are a health hazard, little boy. She's right. I'm going to need Dr. Livingston if this keeps up. Oh, boy, just what I need. A couple of wise guy mice. Just what are you doing, young man? Me? I, I, I was checking your shoes. You got some real squeaky shoes there. Looks like it's showtime. Boy, what a great act. You two go in there. You two go back over there. I've looked all over. Dr. Livingston's gone. Let's just go home. Dr. Livingston! Dr. Livingston! Hey! We got your mice! Oh, gosh. It's such an honor to meet you. I've heard so much about you and how great you are. About how great I am? Of course. Everyone's heard of you. Everyone's heard of Stanley Wilson? You mean you're not the famous Dr. Joe Livingston? No, he's my assistant. I'm Dr. Livingston. Joe short for Joanna. Joanna Livingston, that's me. Wow. I never thought a famous doctor like you would be a woman and to think I'm your cousin. Oh, my, yes. You'll find women doing all kinds of things, dear. Doctors, lawyers, airplane pilots, engineers. Women really get around. You can say that again. Right, boss?
on the next foster's home for imaginary friends, a strange obsession's taking hold of everyone at the home. Imaginary friends trading cards? It even comes with gum. And you won't believe who's become obsessed in ways you no, never I imagined. The series has tickets need four five-star foils to complete. Then I'm done! And just when you think you've figured it out, <laughs> this one lays an egg. <laughs> foster's home for imaginary friends, a brand new episode. Premieres Friday at 7 and 10 on Cartoon Network.